What's up guys, welcome back to the review space and today we take a look at Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3 and this is a platforming game for the GBA and just like many uh, Game Boy Advance titles it is a port from an old Super Nintendo game from back in the mid 90s uh, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island it was actually, well, it was technically a sequel, but it was actually, the storyline was a prequel. It was when Mario was a baby, right here. Aww. Yoshi's back, baby. When the evil Magikoopa Kamek, oh yes, his name is Kamek, tries to kidnap the infant Mario brothers, it's up to Yoshi and his pals to save the day. As Yoshi carries baby Mario through enormous colorful worlds, he'll have to throw eggs, gobble enemies, solve puzzles, and even transform into wild vehicles like a helicopter, a submarine, and a multank. Kamek's goons are con constantly in pursuit, so stay alert and watch out for the Magic Koopa's devious traps. And uh, just a couple of uh, screenshots there. There is a multiplayer mode, but actually, uh, it's, the, it's the same stuff. Classic Mario Brothers arcade game, so... Yeah, you know, they kind of cheaped out on the multiplayer experience. I mean, I wish they could have included something more original. Actually, fairly uh, neutral coloring. It it's actually doesn't stand out that much. I actually don't think it's, uh, it's as colorful as some of the other um, boxes uh, for the Game Boy Advance. But, yeah, it's still colorful and bright. And, you know, it's still very eye-catching. Yeah! Nice and freshly sealed. Well, no, it's not sealed, but... Uh, all right, let's take it out, baby. Check that out. Oh, snap. It's in pristine condition. Just incredible condition right there. This is the game itself. All right, the game pack. Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3. Instruction manuals, of course. Gotta have it. You got a health precautions safety booklet. And some kind of a Game Boy or a Nintendo DS uh, Probo. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. Uh, on the inside, this game is a bit bigger. Feels like the stages last a little bit longer. There's more puzzles involved, and there's a mechanic where you get to throw eggs. Basically, there's different types of eggs you can chuck at the uh, enemies, and that's one of the problems too. Is because this game came out later, but it's a prequel. Yoshi has ha actually has way more powers in this game. So he, he can actually do more things. He can transform into different things. He can transform into a submarine, a mole tank, a train, a car, a helicopter. Maybe because uh, Super Mario World is a later game and it's, you know, when Mario gets older. So maybe because the enemies get harder, you can't just, uh, Yoshi just can't beat enemies with eggs anymore. You know, he can't just throw eggs at the uh, enemies. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why they stopped, you know, uh, Yoshi stopped throwing eggs, but what do I know? Alright, a story that took place a long, long time ago. Uh, this is the storyline right here. The intro, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty long. A stork hurries across dusky pre-dawn sky. So it's a, it's a, star a stork, freaking bird carrying two bundles of, uh, bundles of joy. It's actually the little brothers, the Mario brothers. I wonder who their parents are, because this is your typical like, you know, kitty story regarding uh, how parents give birth to, to babies. You know, where do babies come from? Well, a store carries it. Oh snap! Here comes the Magic Koopa Kamek. The babies are mine. What a nerd! I mean, he kidnaps babies. How sick! I mean, this guy is messed up. Why would he be? Why would he be capturing babies? Something, something's wrong with this baby napper. And the stork just got blindsided. Oh. Oh, so one of the babies got captured. That would be Luigi, and then the second baby falls. Oh, uh, falls to the ocean. There it is. Oh no! Hurry up, storyline. Taking too long. Meanwhile, down on Yoshi's Island, home to all the Yoshis. What the heck is a Yoshi? It's like a dinosaur that can walk and talk and... Oh boy. He lands right on top of Yoshi. 
Suddenly, out of nowhere, a baby falls onto his back. Fortunately, the baby just seems to be fine. Seems to be just fine. <laughs> what? Something else fell along with the baby. Yoshi can't figure out the strange situation. He decides to talk to his friends about it. I thought all the Yoshis were related. Like, I thought they were, like, brothers. Turns out that maybe they're, yeah, they're just, like, friends. Kamek, the evil magic Koopa who kidnapped a baby. Oh, yeah, he's just realizing he only was able to get one. Quickly dispatches his gang of nasty toadies. Nasty toadies? What? When he discovers that he missed the other baby! What a fool! I mean, how can you not pay attention to what you're stealing? If you're gonna steal something, do it right, at least. Can you imagine robbing a bank and then, like, not checking if you got enough money? I mean, it's just two babies. How can you miss that you... How, how can you just realize then that you missed one of the babies? Will the two brothers ever safely reach their parents? Oh, come on, baby. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Single player. Choose a game. All right, let's go with Yoshi's Island. Oh, yeah. 1995, baby. Oh. Man. This game is a classic from the 90s. All right. I got one, one of his clear, so I was able to defeat that one. And then uh, one is World 2. All right, let's start up a new game then. And so you got the other Yoshis gathering around uh, baby Mario, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over a baby that fell from the sky. Oh, here we go. It's on now, baby. Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tell each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. Aww, yeah. Look at them, they're all happy, jumping around. What is this, a crisscross video? Jump around. I'm the queen of the crap. I rise to the top. I never eat a... Because he's a cop about a yeah, Terminator, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, trying to... Uh, never mind. It's not even the right song. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Comex toadies will swoop in and kidnap Baby Mario. Yeah, 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 let's get to it. Aw, yeah, and the tight controls, the controls are so crisp, look at that. Oh, I just swallowed that dumb enemy. Lakito, or whatever his name is. Oh, look at that. That freaking spotted platform just got bigger. The block. Oh, there's another talking block. And look at the graphics. Just as beautiful. Just as uh, colorful and uh, cartoony. It, it, it looks like a... Uh, it looks like a children's painting. You know what I mean? It has that like watercolors um, painting style to it. Which I think is just awesome you know i love the artwork in this game great looking graphics it really kind of makes it unique to this day i haven't really seen another game like it you know like I, i've seen games like okami and stuff like that that kind of follow that similar painting paint work paint artwork style all right so this is the first world and this is the first stage oh we're just gonna try and get through this first stage make eggs throw eggs oh yeah Oh, you gotta... That, that thing basically gives you tips. Making eggs. I love the music. Listen to that. See, this is the problem with the Game Boy Advance. Uh, especially the SP. is The, the audio itself is very, very, uh, very low. And you can't hear every aspect of the instruments. Oh, there's a flower. Flowers are basically like the the Yoshi coins from Super Mario World, basically. I don't know, everything just feels more innocent in this game. 
you know the bad guys are a bit more fun um, there's a you know Yoshi's chucking eggs at enemies look at that BAM you collect those stars the, the stars are basically it's like a timekeeper basically the more stars you have the more chances you can uh, regain um, baby Mario Let, I'll give you an example watch this alright so Yoshi just got swallowed up by that freaking piranha plant and so he basically drops Mario, and then Mario is in a bubble. He's about to get... See that? And th there's a timer over there. It does refill back to number 10, so you get 10 seconds. But a perfect score would be 30. So if you have 30 seconds, you get a whopping 30 seconds of time where you can uh, regain Mario. Alright. And that green thing, that green block, basically gives you eggs if you run out of eggs. And then you can push this boulder along over here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I love the music! Aside the artwork, that's probably the best part of this game. The soundtrack is just amazing. Oh my gosh. That flower thing is just ridiculous. Basically, you have to hit hit it inside. And then it gives you like, oh. It gives you uh, extra stars. And then there's red coins in the game. There's normal yellow coins. And then if you get the red ones, they, they give you like a... It's like a special um, achievement thing. Basically, there's a score system in the game. If you get a perfect score, if you get every single... Um, um, red coin if you get every single um, uh, sunflower um, flower thing flower icon um, you basically get a good point and if you get a perfect score I mean it's just it's a perfect score and you get a chance to uh, you get a chance to play the bonus stages bonus stages are basically they give you more um, more weapons it gives you more uh, power-ups and stuff like that. Alright, you push this boulder along right here. Wow, this is really easy. This is a by is really a by the numbers kind of uh stage here. But I shouldn't even say by the numbers. It's just uh it's very basic, you know. You're just kinda learning everything here. See? And then once you if you collect five um uh flowers you get a perfect you get a good chance of uh, having a bonus game. I'll give you an example. You jump through this this hoop right here. So it's kind of like a roulette. And then if you get a if you get a flower, oh there you go. Bo you get a bonus challenge. And a bonus challenge is basically a an extra game where you can play. I got 82 points out of 100, so that's pretty terrible. It's really easy to get 100 in this uh, stage, so what a shame. What a shame. Flip cards. Okay, this is one of the games. Bonus challenges. And what you have to basically do is you have to flip which one is the right one. You get uh, how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks. Alright, so I was able to flip over that. That's a cloud with with wings and a question mark. That's, that's a bonus item. Could be a... It's usually... A, uh, uh, stars or um, extra eggs, I think. Okay, so I got a enemy that doesn't count, but I can still play the game. All right, so I got ten plus stars. I can use these items in the game, in the actual stages, if I need them. If I get Kamek, I lose the bonus challenge. I lose all the points. Oh, I just lost it. Ah, oh, I got Kamek. And that's it for the first stage. Alright, we'll play the second stage and uh, I think that's, that'll be it for this uh, particular review. It's a very, very short, uh, you know what I'm saying. Short kind of playthrough. Who knows, I mean, maybe I might actually try and play the entire game in a single video. You know, make an entire um, playthrough. But I doubt it. That would take way, way too long. This game is... Oh, snap! Oh, that Chomp... Chomp Link guy just got me. Dang! 
Yeah, no kidding. Oh. See, they jump all the way from the other side of this, the, the, this, uh, the background. I love it. Hey, that's the kind of, like, that's the kind of unique style of gameplay that you can expect from this game. It's just amazing. It tries so many more things, you know, especially for a 16-bit a, a game from the 90s, the mid-90s. It's a quality game. I mean, it's, uh, right now I'm controlling a, you look at this, a, a pink Yoshi. Yoshi's pink, look at that. There's no difference between the Yoshis either. They're all the same, basically. I mean, they all have... They use the same moves. They use the same exact things. It's the middle ring. It's basically a checkpoint. Oh, and uh, you got this... Uh, uh, the, what is this? Freaking uh, pipe. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, an enemy will pop out. Basically, it's just a way for you to get extra, um, extra eggs. How weird is that, that Yoshi swallows his enemies, and then he poops them out into eggs. That's bizarre. So you can imagine, he basically kills his enemies. I mean, that's how he... <laughs> he turned into eggs. If you turn into an egg, you're not coming back. And again, I gotta mention the graphics are just beautifully colored. They're so bright. Very good artwork. This is a re see. This games like these are a reason to have a Super Nintendo back in the day. I kind of wish they made uh, re they made a uh, Super Mario RPG for this uh, Game Boy Advance. That would have been sweet. And now I'm, tr oh man, he's doing one of these weird transformations, and now he transformed into a freaking helicopter. Now the thing with this type of gameplay is that you gotta beat it within the. Uh, time limit. There's a time limit for every single one of these things. And then you have to hit the Yoshi uh, block, or Yoshi box, or whatever that is. I'm basically just like, sp not even like speed running through this thing. But uh, just kind of skipping everything else. I'm not trying to get a perfect score here. Get up! Get up! Oh no, one up! Oh, I just missed it! Dang. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, and there you go. I made it to the final part of the stage. And that's it. I got the goal. Alright, and I got a bonus challenge. Awesome. I think it might be flip cards as well, though. That's. We'll see what's up. See, I got a perfect score on stars, and the rest, uh, not not too good. Is it flip cards again? Oh, scratch and match. I gotta scratch three boxes, uncover Mario's to gain one-ups. Oh, it's kind of like a sniff and scratch kind of thing. Alright. This one is a lot more tricky. It's a lot harder because... Oh, uh, see. I'm gonna get three chances. No Mario. Oh, I'll get one Mario. Which one is it be? Uh, is it gonna be? Oh yes! Two Marios. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I. It's a really good game. I'm gonna reset it now. Nintendo. Very, very good game. Let's play, let's play Mario Brothers. Why not? It's basically a classic uh, arcade-like multiplayer game. And you got Mario and Luigi. <laughs> oh. This game's actually pretty fun. It can be pretty... Like, as the stages go on, you know, it gets... Uh, you progress through the game, it does get tougher. All right, and uh, it go. It's the the rest of the game is just like that. It's the same style of platforming. Like you have to knock out the enemies from uh, underneath. 
and you have to take the coins for extra points. And ultimately you have to defeat the blue colored uh, shell guy, forget his name, so you can clear the stage and then move on and so on and so forth. Alright, so that's it for Yoshi's Island, uh, Super Mario Advance uh, number 3. And it was it's a really good game, definitely one of the best platformers I've ever played in my entire gaming, you know, gaming experience, childhood. And it's, it's harder to find nowadays, but if you can get a copy, even if you can find an emulator, I, I definitely recommend it. Just, just give it a try. If you're a fan of, like, I mean, Little Big Planet, you know, any games like that, you know, Mario games, you know, New Mar Mario Brothers. This game is just one of the best platforming games of all time. Um, and it's definitely a must-play for, a, you know, any Nintendo fanatic, so... That's it for this episode of the Review Space. Go check out the channel, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I'm sizzling. And until next time. <sighs> Ciao.